Hey everybody! So I hope everybody had a great Christmas, um, or Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. Whatever you may celebrate. Um, I had a good Christmas. It went by way too fast, um, but then it's always kind of nice when it's over. I hate to say that, but it's exhausting, especially with little ones. But it was a great Christmas. My little boys were spoiled rotten, and it was just fun to be around family and eat a bunch of yummy food and yeah, it was great. So today's video I'm doing is, I was intending on making it my top 10 favorite MAC eyeshadows. It was impossible. I could not for the life of me pick just 10. I couldn't. So it's my top 15 uh, with two honorable mentions <laughs> because I still couldn't even pick 15. But um, I'll tell you what the honorable, men honorable mentions are. So let's get started. First of all, I love MAC eyeshadows. Um, the majority of them are excellent quality, very pigmented. Um, I feel there are only a few that are like too chalky or not very pigmented. Um, so overall as a whole, I would say MAC eyeshadows are probably my favorite. Um, so here are my top 15. Um, they're in no particular order at all. So this first one, is gonna seem super boring. It's called Mylar. Oh, I got a new camera, by the way. Santa brought me a camera. Um, so I'm really hoping that the quality on this camera is much better than my stupid flip that I used to record on. So hopefully this one right here, this is the first one I'm recording with the new camera. Hopefully it's much better. Still, I'm working on the lighting. Um, I need a ring light, because I'm gonna do most of my filming at night, because it's the only time I can squeeze it in. and. Ring lights? Shoot, those beezies are expensive, so that's gonna have to wait a little bit. But anyways, I digress. Um, okay, so, Mylar. It's just a very, I don't know, there it's, I think it's a satin finish, so there's a teeny, 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 tiny sheen to it, but it's just a very, like, off-white color. Great for highlighting the brow bone, great for all over the lid, um, yeah, so Mylar. All right, next is Nylon. Nylon is a frosted cream color. I love nylon. I don't know if you can see that. I love nylon also for a shimmery highlight underneath the brow bone if you want a shimmery one. It's also a great inner tear duct color. Um, and it's also good for all over the lid if you just want like a shimmery wash of color. Nylon is awesome. I love it. Obviously, if it's in my top 15. Hello. Okay. This next color, this is a bold statement, but may be top three favorite eyeshadows, period, of all time. And it's Sumptuous Olive. It is the prettiest green. First of all, I'm obsessed with green eyeshadow. I love greens. Um, and this is just the prettiest. It is like a goldish green with a little bit of gray in it even. I don't know, it is gorgeous. Look at it, it, it looks wet almost. So pretty, love, love, love it. Sumptuous olive. Okay, the next one is Steamy, which is what I'm wearing today. I like that one. Um, super pretty turquoise. Reminds me of a mermaid. It's like a, yeah, I don't know, like a turquoise. It has a little bit of gold and a little bit of silver in it. It's so pretty. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand and see if you can see. So, so pretty. Love that. Um, today I'm just wearing it all over the lid. This is actually a Pixie Woo uh, look that they, they uploaded this look today. Um, it's their blue green look. Um, anyways, it was supposed to be with Steamy and Club. I didn't have Club, so I mixed two different colors on the outside corner, but I have Steamy all over the lid. Such a great, great color. All right, this next one is, oh, Woodwinked. Woodwinked is the prettiest brown, bronze, but it almost has like a little bit of ye like yellowish orange in it. I don't know, it's an odd color. I can't really explain it. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, kind of, yeah, coppery, brown. 
I don't know, there's definitely like a yellowish orange sheen to it. So, so pretty. Also, I think it's a satin, but it's very like shiny, wet looking. Very pretty. Another good color all over the lid by itself or to pair it with like dark chocolate. I like to pair it with like dark chocolate browns or even blacks like in the outer corner. Love it. All right, next one. Okay, this is handwritten. I didn't know if I wanted to do handwritten or a mark because they're very similar. Handwritten is a little redder. It's just a very dark brown. That finger is all shiny from wood winked. Hold on. It's very, yeah, it's like a reddish brown, but a very deep, deep brown. I love it for the outer corner. And I also love Embark, but I just find myself reaching for handwritten more often. See, it's just a, a matte dark brown with a little bit of red in it. And sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder instead of the camera because I'm getting used to this camera. Sorry, I know that that's really annoying. I hate it when people do that. So yeah, very pretty. Um, this is also great for an eyeliner. Just use it on an angled brush and do it right along the lash line, even underneath the eyes. It's just such a pretty basic dark, dark brown color. Okay, oh, this is another really, really like basic wedge. Love, love, love me some wedge. Perfect crease color. It's like a cool kind of tanny taupe color. Um, yeah, it's the perfect crease color. I use it to blend out everything. It doesn't matter if the color I'm working with is cool or warm, bright or natural. Wedge is just the best transi transition color and crease color. I love it. And something similar to Wedge, but a, a little, it has a little bit more pink in it, I feel like, is Soft Brown. Soft Brown is also a very good basic crease color. Um, transition color and by transition color I mean if you have like a say a bright color on your lid and then a light color as your highlight um, it's always good to have a transition color so there's not like a harsh line or harsh separation between the two colors on your lid and your brow bone so wedge and soft brown are great for that and it's I think this is also a satin finish so not shimmery not matte just a slight slight sheen to it. That, I don't know, it might be matte actually now that I'm looking at it. I don't know, but soft brown. Oh, satin taupe. This is up there with Sumptuous Olive in my top three all-time favorite. Yep, it's the prettiest like mauve taupe color. Gorgeous. This, I think, may have been my very first MAC eyeshadow I ever owned. Oh, I just love it. Yeah, mauve taupe color. Very shiny, wet looking. Pretty, 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 pretty. Let's see, next one is Copper Plate. This is a new edition. I've probably only had this for like the last eight or nine months. And it's a matte gray Kind of a mauve gray. A very, very good crease color. Good for all over the lid if you're doing like a gray smoky eye. Oh, copper plate is perfect for that. Okay, and this one obviously has uh, been loved a lot because I hit major pan on patina. So, so pretty. This is such a pretty bridal color because it's, I don't know, it's so weird. It's so hard to explain. It's like it's like a taupe, but it has some pink in it and some green at the same time, like duochrome. Oh, it's so pretty. It, this lighting does not do it justice at all. So, so pretty. Love patina. Okay, this next one was almost an honorable mention, but I've decided I just love it so much it has to be in my top 15. And this is also one of the first MAC eyeshadows I ever, ever bought and it's called Parfait Amour. It is a bright purple, I think it's a frost. I love purple eyeshadows too. I love purples and I love greens, but this is just the best purple. I always reach for it. No matter what purple look I'm doing, I feel like, or, um, I feel like Parfait Amour. Can you even see that? 
I feel like Parfait Amour always makes its little way into my purple look, no matter what other colors I'm using. Okay, Paradisco. Paradisco is a coral with like a gold sheen to it. So, so pretty. I love using, okay, this finger is, I can't use that anymore. Hold, hold please. I don't even know if you can see how pretty that is. Okay. It's beautiful with darker oranges. It's beautiful with browns. It's beautiful with blacks. I just love it. Paradisco is a great, great color. Okay. Shroom. One of the best highlight colors and inner tear duct colors ever. It looks boring, just like mylar and nylon. You think like, oh, boring, but no, it's just the prettiest color. I think that it's satin. Yeah, kind of like an off-white, but it almost has a little bit of silver in it too. Very pretty highlight color, shroom. And you can also use it as a, um, a face highlighter too um, on the tops of your cheekbones. And, okay, this is the last one of the 15. Oh, this was so hard to pick, just 15, but okay. Okay, coppering. Coppering is, I don't know, copper. Hmm, go figure. Copper, it is so pigmented. I mean, one of the most pigmented shadows they have. See that? Mm. Just the most beautiful copper penny color. It's beautiful all by itself. You don't even need to put anything with it. Love, love coppery. Okay, so that's the 15, but I could not, not mention these two. Humid. And because I'm such a green fan, I had to say humid. It is the, oh, it's so pretty. It's very, um, like an ivy green. I would say very ivy-ish. Let me show you a little swatchy poo. So pretty, so pigmented. Love, love, love it. Beautiful for a green smoky eye. Just all over the, all over the lid, all over, um, or all over the lid underneath the bottom lash line. And then like a dark matte green or a dark gray or black in the outer corner. Beautiful. And last but not least, honorable mention, Sketch. Pretty like a burgundy-ish purple color. Oh, it's so pretty. Let me put, let's see. It kind of reminds me of um, Beauty Marked, uh, but Beauty Marked is way more black and Sketch is more like a blackberry burgundy-ish color. So pretty. All right. That is it. There, I know I'm gonna look through my makeup and I'm gonna see a bunch more that I wish I would. I mean, I looked at all of my MAC eyeshadows that I own, and I own a lot. And this is what I came up with, but I know I'm gonna like go do my makeup tomorrow and be mad that I didn't mention at least some of the other ones. You know, because this is such a critical video. So, okay, that's it. That's my top 15 favorite MAC eyeshadows. Um, I hope you guys liked the video, and I hope you guys have a great, great, and safe New Year's Eve. And I will see you in 2013. I can't believe it's going to be 2013. Okay, guys, be safe, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.